Hi, this is Angie Arcieri with Commercial Insurance Now. And today, I'm talking with Larry Lapkin from Five Star Insurance. So Larry, what is a household goods mover? You know, it's a very good question. Um, things have changed a lot in the moving industry in the last few years. A lot of people don't have the money to spend on a big household goods company, and they just need somebody to help them with the labor, you know? So there's a lot of staffing services, for lack of a better word, that you can look up on the internet and you can contact these people and they will put you in touch with somebody that can help you with the labor for your move. So Larry, I know you're kind of thought of as an authority in commercial insurance. What type of insurance does a household goods mover need? Well, there's actually several different types of insurance that uh, a household goods mover should consider. It kind of depends on what their operations are. For example, if, uh, if the mover is doing what we call labor only, in other words, they don't own a truck, then uh, th really there's one type of insurance that they should have. If, if they own their own truck, then uh, there's other types of insurance that they should consider. But probably the most important one that we hear about and that is usually required is commercial general liability insurance. So Larry, what's covered on a typical liability policy? Angie, what's covered on a commercial liability insurance policy, whether it be for a household goods mover or pretty much any, any other type of business for that matter, is bodily injury and property damage caused by your work. And then one other thing, uh, what they call advertising injury. And advertising injury would be if, for example, you say something bad about your competition and you put it in writing and you get sued because of that, what we call libel and slander. Is this insurance gonna help a mover to get more work? It certainly can. And uh, I, I would say that probably the better movers um, all carry commercial general liability insurance. Sooner or later, you're going to call on a, uh, you're going to go out to bid a job, and the client is going to ask you if you have liability insurance. So certainly, if you can say yes, and you can uh, produce a certificate of insurance to to prove that you are in fact insured, it's definitely going to open up the door for you. So by the way, as long as we're talking about it. The, the limits that you should be carrying are $1 million of liability insurance. Anything less is really not going to be enough. So Larry, what's it going to cost a mover to get liability insurance? Uh, Angie, the cost is going to sort of depend on what part of the country you're in and also what your cost of labor is. In other words, if you have, let's say you're a new business, maybe you project it's going to cost you in labor, meaning the guys that you actually hire to do to help you with doing the, the grunt work, if you will. Typical uh, cost would be probably around in the range of eight to nine hundred dollars per year, depend if, if you're in a, a rural area of the country. If you're in New York City and you're in the boroughs, you're going to pay a lot more for your insurance. Obviously, the higher your payroll, the more you're going to pay for your insurance too. What other types of insurance does a household mover need to consider? The other types of insurance that you should consider, uh, we talked about it a little bit, so you get, we already talked about commercial liability insurance. We talked about motor truck cargo insurance. Uh, what we didn't talk about is workers' compensation insurance. The state of California says that if you have helpers, um, employees, if you will, uh, that you are required to provide them with uh, workers' compensation insurance. Other parts of the country, it may not be required. So it just depends on your state. Some states require it, some don't. So Larry, you've given us a lot of great information. Can you kind of give us a quick wrap up of what we've talked about today? Angie, what it comes down to is this. If you're a household mover, obviously you're, you're exposed. There's risk involved. So you need to make sure that you offset that risk. And the best way to do it, of course, is, is with insurance. So we talked about commercial liability insurance, Obviously, that's probably the first thing you should look into. If you are a household goods mover and you own a truck, in addition to the auto liability insurance, you should also look into having cargo insurance. And then the last thing we talked about is uh, workers' compensation insurance. It may be required in some parts of the country. And, and probably the last thing that I really want to 
make a point of is that I can't tell you how many times I get phone calls from household movers thinking that their liability insurance is covering the goods themselves when in fact it doesn't. So don't take chances, do it right. Make sure you're disclosing everything to your client and avoid lawsuits. And what is the best way for people to reach you? I'm located in California. The name of my business again is Five Star Insurance Services. Phone number is uh, 530-583-7431 or by email at Larry at FiveStarInsure.com.